Hello, happy Friday everybody. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the Sally Hansen Airbrush Spray Makeup. Um, I recently found this um, at CVS and I decided to try it. I love the idea of airbrushed makeup. Um, from everything that I could read, this was discontinued back in 2008 and I guess they are just coming right back to it. Um, I don't really know what to say except I don't really like this a lot. I got very poor coverage with it. Um, it was splotchy. I got it all in my hair. Um, I did what it said. I um, shook it well, sprayed directly onto my hand, and then used a um, brush to apply it to my face. I just did not like it. I think there's only three shades in this. I might be wrong, but um, I love the Sally Hansen legs. Let's see if I can get it in there. I think this is great for the summer when you're needing a little color and you haven't been to the tanning bed or you don't go to the tanning bed or lay out. I think this works great. So I thought that this would work the same. Well, it just did not do that for me. Let me show you. Um, let me find a brush real quick. We will use my Real Techniques buffing brush and the spray. Shake it up. Can you see it? There it is. Smell. It's got a really strong smell. Coverage is not too good. Um, the smell alone makes me choke. Um, and yes, it's the same with the airbrush legs. The smell is really, really strong. But, um, yeah, it just isn't for me. Um, a lot of people have liked it, um, at least from the reviews I could read. Um, it does have an SPF in it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the number is on this one. Um, I think it is SPF um, 15, I think, if that's even right. Um, let me get my camera tilted. I just don't um, like it. Um, as you can see, I'll show you my receipt. It was $14.97 for this small can, which is... Um, one fluid ounce. Um, I first tried to spray this directly on my skin, on my face, and <laughs> it was in my hair, on my eyebrows, so I understand why they say don't spray it, like, directly on your face. But what's the point of an airbrush foundation if you're having to use um, a brush with it? What's the point? That's kind of silly. Um, I think for $14.99, Fourteen forty nine, I think it's outrageous. Um, they say to spray some of the product also into a large cap, um, and then um, using your brush, apply it, and you'll get an airbrush look. That did not happen for me. I've tried this probably four times, and to be very honest, this shit is going right back to the drugstore. Um, it just wasn't for me. I'm not going to speak long, long, long about it because I just don't have that much nice to say about it. Um, I think they only have like three or four different colors and, you know, we all know that's not enough for any line because people come in a range of colors with yellow hues or pink hues to their skin and, um, you know, it just isn't enough. I think also that... Um, the size of the can, which is little, is, is good because I think this one would fit on an airplane, you know, like in their guidelines. And it does also um, fit nicely, like in your makeup bag or in your purse. But that's not enough for me to, to keep this. That, that just don't do it for me. I like a better foundation. And while I love, 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 even I have right here, Sally Hansen nail products. I think this is a big fail, and I think it should 
pretty much probably be discontinued again because it just isn't for me. Clearly this is the light pale shade. The other one was too dark for me. And um, yeah, I just think it sucks. So, um, I think it also, um, when I tested out the other one in the store, I found it kind of orangey. Didn't really like that. Um, however, you know, I didn't break out from using this, so that's a plus. Um, you know, I think, I think it should stay on the shelves. So, if you have tried this, I would definitely love to hear your thoughts on it. You can email me at Mrs. Keisha Jaggers, and you can find the links on my YouTube channel over to the right. You can um, leave me a video response or a comment on this post directly below. Or you can also check out my blog at KeishaJaggers.com. I'm sorry, I can't believe I just said that. www.kjaggers.com. I'm really, really tired today, so please bear with me. I didn't sleep good. My cat got sick in the middle of the night. Um, it just has not been one of those days for me. But I plan on returning this, and I definitely wanted to get this review up before um, I take off. Um, yeah, it just really wasn't for me. Um, some people really like it. They actually claim that it's a revolutionary makeup and an aerosol can. Aerosol can that provides a flawless airbrush look. Oh, it's SPF 8, I'm sorry. Um, that it's lightweight, formula imparts an invisible, impe impeccable finish, long-wearing, water-resistant, dermatologist-tested, hypoallergenic, and fragrance-free. That is from the company. And in our, all, all fairness, I should definitely read that to you. It also says it has vitamins A, C, and E to help improve skin with every use. Well, maybe that's the case, and that's nice. Um, I don't really see much difference with my skin, but it just, the coverage sucked. Um, it was splotchy. It didn't cover well. It about choked me to spray it. So, thumbs down to the Sally Hansen Airbrush Spray Makeup. I will definitely not be using this again. It is going back to the drugstore here in just a little bit. And I would love to hear from any of you guys who have tried it. So be sure to let me know. Um, have a great day. I'm going to go back to CVS in a little bit, return this, and see if I find anything else that stands out. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the day home in front of the fireplace because it's cold and gloomy out and I am sleepy. So have a beautiful day. I'll be back with more reviews soon. And if you like the video or any of the other videos, um, be sure to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.